This Saturday, I did a post about why I think OpenAI and ChatGDP and other technologies like that are going to put us in a 10-year bull run. Wanted to expand on that with a video. I haven't used a whiteboard in a long time, but I did it for the special video. So real simple, guys. 2001, we had a dot-com bubble. Stocks really increased based on just the internet and the unknown of how profitable internet companies could be. We then busted, and back in 2008, we had a market crash, right? 12 years of low interest rates. To save the markets, we lowered our interest rates, and all this money poured into software as a service, and software as a service boomed, right? 2023, interest rates have gone up, and the market crashed by 30%. This is because now future earnings were less than expected because interest was killing profits, and the cost of borrowing money was high. Therefore, future earnings were lower. The market went down about 30%, right? Now, November 30th, OpenAI comes live to beta, right? Unexpected. What this is going to do and why I think that this is going to put us in 10-year room is pretty simple. It's going to increase companies' efficiencies, right? This is the same reason why in 2001, the stocks um, bubbled because people did not know of what exactly the internet was going to do, but they knew they were going to make things faster, cheaper, more efficient, which it did, right? So now we've increased company efficiency, increased profit over earnings, increased gross profit, and increased net profit. If you look at what we can do with ChatGDP today, keep in mind that ChatGDP 5 is around the corner, you're going to get 10 years of increased company productivity. At the same time, I believe that the Fed, federal government, is going to start lowering interest rates. Can't keep the interest rates high forever. It's hurting the economy. We're already getting job losses, right? So combination of AI, which is going to increase company productivity, increase profit of earnings, gross profit, net profit, with a lower interest rate over the next five years. I predict 10 years, boom, 22.2% average on the QQQ, which is the NASDAQ. That's my simple reasoning. Horrible handwriting, but simple reasoning for why we're going to be in a boom for the next 10 years. I know I'm all in. I hope you guys are too. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thanks.